Welcome back to Eternal Darkness, guys. So, so Naomi, on the break, you just uh, stomped through. I those. wouldn't say stomped. Hey. Because you moved. No. Yeah, you did. I saw you move. Stop moving. <laughs> when you cast a spell. Damn. We have one going. I know. Why are you doing another one? Okay, do whatever you want. Do it. Fuck you, that's why. Okay, fuck you, Delve! Fuck you, Delve! Oh my god, I just got so <laughs> And then you immediately moved during it. Don't touch the control stick. Okay, listen. Okay. Listen to me, my friends. It's now time for me to tell you something interesting. Okay? So, Dave, is he's been gone since Thursday. He went out of town to go to a wedding, all right? And Dave was uh, on the Greyhound bus driving back to the city. He was supposed to be back about an hour and a half ago, maybe? And... He's not anywhere close to back because there's a bunch of last minute construction on the highway and the Greyhound bus is stuck in traffic. <laughs> and so like he's, this is already like, like a four hour trip for him by bus. I think it actually might be longer than four, it might be six hours by bus. I think it's six hours by bus. And Six hours by bus, and he's not, I think he's like only halfway home. And it's like... That sucks. This is gonna be rough for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Check the uh, map. You just did that circular room, and that other room, you can't do yet. Yeah. But you can go downstairs here, and you can go downstairs over there. Right now, Dave is raging, yeah. So should I go here first? I don't know. Try both. That brought me to a whole nother level. Yeah, because it was downstairs, yeah. Well, no. Fuck you. So Dave will be here when he's here, I guess. Oh, he's right, he's right in front of you. <laughs> okay, this is the big room. Stones are open from the collapse. Yeah, this is the big room where like you fought a shit ton of guys walking down as Kareem, I think. Or it was the next room, maybe. If Dev said, Naomi, if Dev said we're moving to America, what state do you want to live in? I don't know. California. No. Texas. Definitely not. Florida. I didn't fucking move. When your character, <laughs> you're moving, man. You're moving. Like it could be that the control stick is old and jiggling a bit, like, but the character's definitely moving. I have no idea what U.S. state I'd want to live in. I haven't really given it any thought. Washington state, maybe? You live in Seattle? This sounds like a fight. <laughs> like there's a fight going on around here. Right around this car. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, it's the... It's the cube room. <laughs> Roberto's like, he just leaves. I'm not, not getting involved in any of that shit. <laughs> Go live in Wisconsin, Dev could be a backup Rich Evans. It's kind of funny because, like, I look more like Rich Evans, for sure. But Dave is our Rich Evans. He's like, he's Dave next Rich Evans. He's the kind of like the constant joke. A moat a moat of molten rock. Curious, okay, she's like, lay out Roberto Pause, the is fine, and finds none. Okay. Nope. So.
that was a five point reveal invisible marker on the podium. What? Oh, right. It was you green, for, right? Yeah. So that you have to use red. Red, reveal invisible, five point. There is a key placed on the pedestal. Oh, thanks for the five dollars. Go back in that hallway and cast invisible in invisibilism. Okay. Invisible. Yeah, in 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 one hallway back. Thanks for the five dollars. Does Rich Evans have gout and is currently stuck on a greyhound trying not to crap his pants? Uh, Dirt and Tyler, you you missed this. Dave is currently stuck on a on a Greyhound bus trying to get back to the city me, from his from his his, uh, his weekend trip. Don't be so stuck in in construction. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Oh, not a scared wretch of a girl. I knew he was going to be kind of evil. This from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. Kept me in I the dark. Give you the bird. <laughs> I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Oh. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? You know, I don't think that's actually your grandpa's ghost. I don't think so either. Is it really happening? Yeah, he's, stu he's stuck on a greyhound, yeah. Yeah, in this room. Cast invisible? Yeah, reveal invisible. Oh, there it is. No, there it is. You already have it on, see? A sapphire effigy sent aside an alcove. So you grabbed the, the 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 ruby effigy when you were Kareem. Yeah. Now you have a sapphire. Yeah. This is like a basically every time you come back to this level, you got to find a different effigy because it like leads into a, an end game quest. It's like a side quest that you don't know about. The game doesn't tell you about, but you have it. A small statue of a sorcerer. Yeah. Dev Naomi, is there a fruit slash vegetable slash flower that you have yet to unsuccessfully grow because of your environment or location? Peas. These are fine. It was the green beans that okay. didn't really grow. Beans. Yeah. Um, what else? Animals always dig up my celery that I try to grow. I tried to grow broccoli and cabbage and neither really worked out. We are playing this on a Wii, Zach. So, face. Did you move again? No. So I didn't have enough energy. Okay. Mandalo par. Mr. Fake Latin name is pretending to be the grandfather. Yeah. Not original hardware! Rees Maverick Hunter. This is locked. Yeah. So I think... Oh, forgotten corridor key. Good job. That, was, that was me. That was you. Oh, Naomi's a mover. She's a mover and shaker in this world, baby. I hit my mic when I was doing that. <laughs> I hit my mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Listen, I'm not the J of the group. I'm like one of the guests that, that comes in once in a while. Okay, this hallway, mm -hmm. you see that floor with yeah. yellow? Yeah. It hurts you. So you need like a five point shield to get across. Because otherwise you'll just start taking damage. Now run across. I do mean run. You just fucking made it. Oh, hey, it's that old GameCube game. Yes, Monsuko, welcome aboard. Naomi moves and shakes this world with her big weights. <laughs> what did you mean by that? <laughs> All of the weights. <laughs> Oh, 
Augustus is reserved for emperors or candidates to be. I knew a person whose last name was Augustine. Like, she, she was of Greek origin. Uh, what are you doing there, buddy? The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen, and that Roberto will be next. A hideous bas relief adorns the monolith. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms to fuel some unknown, unfathomable process. Say feel or fuel? Fuel. I know I know it said fuel, but I heard you say fuel. Oh, I said fuel. The Wait, was that different? Sorry. The carving depicts a man's skeletal remains in the cruel embrace of a multitude of worm-like creatures. Are these the things that killed the men in this room? Just tentacle porn, dude. Tentacle porn. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, smash that like button. <laughs> Obviously, you cut the rope, yeah. Rope holds the bridge. Smash! Uh oh. You get. <gasps> Kill him! That was real easy. Just smack him. Should you pull the lever? No. Okay, but you also have to survey this room too. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to figure out how. There's probably a way. Are you from the middle? Smash that like button because like a nostalgic phrase. No, it almost does, doesn't it? There you go. The dilapidated roof appears to be collapsing in several areas and will need a lot of reinforcement. The workers have a daunting task ahead of them, working through Especially the Especially with the worms. <laughs> Just gonna leave them there. Yeah, you can you can work on it while you're being insane, buddy. Touch anything. <laughs> the YouTube mantra, like, comment, and subscribe. Please support my Patreon. Lots of people do it in the middle of streams too, but I tend not to. I'm just like, I, I mention how to support once at the start of the stream and then I leave it alone. For the most part, unless like it's good for a joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just barely made it. It's fine. When you gonna get a merchandise line, Dev? I'll sell Naomi bathwater. That. that was a move by you. I watched your thumb do it. It twitched. Because you twitched too much. This is this is revenge. Naomi's like, I'm just gonna shake things with my foot. Uh I'm gonna tap things. I'm gonna go. <laughs> make all the noises, make all the little shakes, make all the little and now she's like. Oh, how come I can't catch a spell in this game? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so fucking mean <laughs> to me. All the fucking time. <laughs> fucking dick. You can maybe examine the course if you walk back on there. With the shield, I guess. Do I want to? No. Dev, why don't you do sponsor spots? I don't want to do a sponsor spot unless I actually... Um... The actual reason is that he's lazy. <laughs> I don't want to do a sponsor spot unless I actually use the product myself. Wait, no, go, 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 go. I'm not going to. Maybe you get something out of it. Nope. I'm gonna look at what you get in case it's important.
this game good? It's good, but it's old. You gotta, you gotta be ready for 2000s era gaming mentalities. By the way, do you really not see how this influenced uh, Assassin's Creed? I mean, not really. But, like, honestly, that's kind of a good thing. If it influenced it and I can't really tell, then I don't oh, mind dude, that. Maybe just, like, cast Invisible on yourself and just run by them. Check. See if that works. Reveal Invisible. Five point with Manta Rock. Okay. Now just go by. I'm gonna fight the zombie instead. Oh, the trapper saw you though. What trapper? There's a trapper there. Well, oh, I didn't see the trapper. Oh. I need anything? I don't think I do. Oh, I kind of. Do I like follow? Mana. Yes, I do. Oh, well, it's good. Fuck. Oh well. You're still invisible. Just go right by. Don't worry about it. I like how the zombies can see me, but they're not attacking. <laughs> and it's the choice room. Venture no further, or be struck down where you stand. Hello, hey, ghost. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple. The Forbidden City. None shall enter except the Chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the Chosen. What? For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. Mm -hmm. You are unaffected by the power I wield. And thus, must surely be the Chosen. Makes sense to me. Once I was as you were, confused and without answers, yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. So I assume he just died of starvation down here. No, remember she kissed him and killed him. Oh, right. Now we can go off and be ghosts together. Yeah, and there's the Ulioth artifact that was not chosen by Pius. Pick up. Bertha can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching towards him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, he retrieves the hovering artifact. The essence of Ulioth. Also, Kareem's ruby effigy. Oh. Now you have two of them. Nice. Great to see you both for a late night stream. Thanks, Zero. Thanks for the money. Hey, don't understand what's up. The room appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients. As noted in the Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Tome. Should you do the thing? I guess you did it. You have completed a survey of the complex, and you can return to the surface and report as findings to the cabinets and go, out, oh, go all the way back to the start. Fast travel. Nope. <laughs> fast travel. No fast traveling. I tried some new Asian things, and I'm shitting myself, Dev. It's either the pickled bamboo or the fermented soybean lauganma. How did you manage, Dev? You just got good. Fuck, this is OP. I'm just gonna stay invisible the whole time. Alright. Wait, what was that other way? Over there. This is how, um, the other characters came in. Yeah, this room, remember? It had the book initially. No, no, we have to put the book there too. Yeah, but like, you, if you, you can't go upstairs anymore because the it's broken. Yeah. yeah. I do like how you can see all the changes as you. Yeah, that's nice. The game. I, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. Chris Chan is back on YouTube. I think you can even run while invisible. Well, you're not invisible anymore. Wait, oh yes, you are. Never mind. Well, the trapper sees you though. I think trappers just always see you. Yeah, that's fine. Don't forget to save. Yeah, please. Please, God. Well, I couldn't save in that room anyway, so. Mm.
Because it doesn't give you experience or anything, right? To nope. fight enemies? There's no levels up. Nothing like that. Sometimes you have to get items off enemies, but yeah. yeah. There's crossbow bolts. Not that you need them at this point. <laughs> you never know. Oh yeah, man, I used to eat soybeans when I was like... When I first lost all my weight, then I gained it all back again, you know what I mean? You did it. I saw your thumb. Naomi's twitchy thumb. Listen, this is actually, it's not old. It's actually quite sensitive. I just touched the top. I think it's actually just a very sensitive old controller. Yeah. Hey, Dev. Have you ever tried to set up a voice attenuator for your stream? Example, you talk and the game turns down a few decibels. It might make setting up your volume stuff a little bit easier. No, I have not. I don't even know how I would do that. Is, er, er, is the game too loud? Well, no, it's just more for like when we talk, the game dialogue is turned down lower. Mm, I don't know if I like the you, idea you, of that. You should, you should have the opposite of that for whenever we do conferences though. <laughs> And I do, I do have like noise gate set up so that things, so that like we don't, like we don't peak audio anymore. Most stream programs have a voice attenuator. I will open a tab and look into it after the stream, okay? Thank you. Wasn't a comment on the current settings, just in general. Okay. I have no idea how to do it, too. Dev, don't change anything. Wait, is he late Gen X? Or I'm a millennial, dude. And Naomi's a Zoomer. Yep, Dev's old as fuck. Wait, how do I get out? Open the map. Oh, I think he went, yeah. Let me what go straight. What did I do? Go I'm back. not on this floor. I'm on this floor. Yeah, I know. Okay. Go run back that way. You came in through here, didn't you? You did. Shit, I don't know where you are. Touch it. <laughs> you fuck. Okay, that's where you came from. Yeah. So don't go that way. Is it? Is it? Didn't you just come through here? Yeah. I'm so, I'm so confused. Okay, open your map again. Okay. No, I get it. Go back. Go back. Go back where? Go back down where you just came from. Dev, help me, me. There will be a, a ladder halfway up this corridor here. Go down. There it is. And hey. what news do you bring me, architect? The, What's up? The, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction no. continues planned. But the demons! Stretch. You'd be insane to build there! Silence, dog! What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. <sighs> Give it to me later, dude. You must witness it firsthand. <sighs> Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. Oh no! I knew it! I knew it! I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! 
Also, getting like voice act, no, like accent accurate voices for this would be amazing. I really want a remake now. <laughs> to this project. I knew it. There it is. Hello. Hello. I like how he's the only body, the rest are skeletons. <laughs> oh no, never mind. I was wrong. It's just a whole bunch of people. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got myself into this position. <laughs> yeah, I showed Naomi the 2013 remake footage, and it looks so good, and you were like, oh, I wish I could play this game if it were good. Yeah, I think that's probably the most tedious. It wasn't even that tedious, honestly. You, did you find Luther's more tedious? Yeah, actually. Because mm. of all the backtracking. Yep. Okay, what else is there to do? Uh, go back. This is, this is probably the hardest one to figure out. It's back in the office. Oh, in here? Yep. It's probably the hardest one to figure out. I didn't enjoy G this. Give me a hint. Okay. Remember every... Every character's unique puzzle or ability is something that you do. Oh. There was crumbling in the corner, and there, now you find a, a page. Oh, because that's where the pillar is. Yeah. An unseen uh. force guides Alex's hand to the painting, and there's the page. <laughs> Basically, until, like, you couldn't play the piano until you learned how to do it yeah, from yeah, Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's this scene I was thinking of. Sorry. Shame. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. Okay. The war to end all wars yeah, redefined how mankind looked at war galaxy. and the value of human After. life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. 1916, World War I. That's the same Ubiye fucking Cathedral, chapel. Mm -hmm. Now transformed no. into a field hospital. They could have like reorganized some of these levels. So you're not going back to the same ones right away. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, and mustard gas. Rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men so good. Does that mean that Pius started World War I? <laughs> to, to feed the, the, the Guardian, yeah. Holy shit! He started the First World War to feed the Guardian, because he needed more corpses. Yeah. Pius shot Archduke Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> and here you are. You are now Peter Jacob, 1916. A lucky penny! 
An old coin marked in pecuniary manner. On some metal value of someone. Whoever found it, go to everyone. Flash powder. You can use it with a photographic flash pan. Photographer's flash pan. Use to hold combustible powders that, when ignited, create a large white flash. This can be used to stun enemies. There's also stuff on the table where you were. A soldier's letter. First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love Margaret. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there is no way I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I'm reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there is an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but, f but for the words of the wounded calling out in the night. There is no doubt it's haunted. <laughs> what I find most odd in this place is that you can never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells. Just an empty bed when you wake. That's because nobody ever leaves. Thanks for the fiver, Cero. Are you going to get Naomi to play more 2000s games like Primal, Soul Reaver, or Blood Rain? We did play Vampire the Masquerade. We did play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably more more games in this era because they're all great and they're this is the pinnacle of gaming. The faint sound of moment emanates from behind the, the linen veils. Whisper utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. I have noticed that, Bruce. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what I have to read? Is, it scrolled away. Something that Galaxy said. Probably something dumb. The soldier's rather distressed. Perhaps he has lost a lot of friends to the trenches of the Somme. He, confide, he confides that the only stories are sad ones, that the only true heroes are in the mortuary. Oh no, Galaxy was asking if there's any, uh, any Rule 34 in this game. I think there is, actually. Yeah. Usually of the main girl, though. Yeah. No, we're playing it in, in 16 by 9. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the organ. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that while he is alive, it will remain intact. The guard quietly but strongly points out that this area is off limits to civilians. Okay, that's right. We're a civilian. We're not going to get a lot done in yeah, here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not a soldier here. The altar is cleared of all valuables, not only to prevent looting, but also to afford space for medical supplies and even as an operating table, should the need arise. The cathedral's tabernacle is finished from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and it doesn't seem to be any way of opening it manually. I remember. Mm -hmm. Peter finds a sealed envelope that's been left behind. The sealed envelope. Should Peter open the envelope? Yes. Soldier's orders. Can you check it? Uh, an official note on Army Regulation Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson, by orders of Lieutenant Hargraves on behalf of H.R.H. George... Oh, wait. His Royal Highness George V. You are to leave your post of duty and rally in the street outside Oublier Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king! God save the king! Hey guys, what do you think's going on over there? <laughs> I don't got no magic yet in these old bones. Imagine making it on the cathedral on the battlefield. So much. Abruptly, the guard asks Peter if he has clearance for the old tower. It's a restricted area. Charlemagne! Charlemagne! <laughs> He's still just in there. Charlemagne! Oh, there's a nurse. You can talk to her. Hey, lady. With a motherly voice, the nurse advised that Peter get some rest. Fuck that shit. Ara, ara. <laughs> yeah. She's motherly. She's a nurse. She's comforting. What do you? What else do you want? It's a war. Maybe you're not going to get it anymore. Like, this is it. You got to get what you can get. The guard shifts about, obviously bored with duty and awaiting a replacement, or perhaps a call to arms. I wonder if that means Wait, we're going to get a disguise. Give him the, the orders. Because the orders were a call to arms. 
The guard unfolds the orders and begins to read them before exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad, you must be on the offensive. Bloody hell, lad, you must be on the offensive. <laughs> Following the orders, he takes leave of his post. You can do accents way better than I can. I can't do <laughs> accents at all. Listen, doing like an old timey British accent is just a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Stormfin, Just thanks for the fiber, bodies. dude. bodies. Oh. All right, but there's gun. Give me. A revolver. Hang on. I don't have any bullets for it, Oh. Stacked like logs, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloodied corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries and those of others. It seems like the power went out once you, uh... Oh, oh now we get the magic. Yeah, bitches. Oh, there's Roberto. Hey, buddy. Oh, Roberto. Hi. Oh. It wasn't uncommon for soldiers to fuck nurses. Probably not, to be honest. Okay, now that I have my magic. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh god, I gotta like put all the spells on, I gotta do all the things, I gotta... <laughs> now that I have it. Okay. Peter has very low health because he's a non-combatant, and he has the lowest sanity in the game because he suffers from cell shock. Shell shock. Aw. Crazy, bro. Here we go. Here, here's what here's what the, the walkthrough says. Health. Average. Pete's life is only so fair, but it's better than you or me. Sanity. Low. Pete's sanity will go fast. Cast recover or invisibility or expect to go bonkers. Magic. High. His only saving grace is his magic meter. Yeah, I noticed the mana meter for him is actually really high. Yeah. Oh, read the posters too, apparently. Oh yeah, those are all like designed to muster patriotic feelings. These posters declare that the allies are fighting the good fight. It's a small comfort for the occupants of the room, whose spent corpses lie on the cold cathedral floor. Yep. Oh, head upstairs. Oh, there's a bone thief. You're just gonna like invis your way through. <laughs> There's a nurse. She seems like somebody who's probably been possessed by a bone thief. Oh yeah, we've this is like I think our our eighth or ninth playable character so far. Soldier's letter. Grab. Nope. <laughs> Second letter from Private Reginald Jackson. Okay. I've been here for over a week now, and there's no word when I'll be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement or whispers. I have seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night. Cries that were only answered by snarls of rage, not compassion. Another said that Lance Corporal Haskell had not been discharged, but had gone missing. I stare at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. I wonder if this guy is actually like the last body that was, you know, taken away. Maybe. If this game were made today, you get one character, the rest would be DLC. Yep, she's clearly an enemy. I think all the nurses here have been possessed. Probably. You do have a gun now. But only six shots. You do have your flashbang, though. Only five shots. Yeah. Only six shots. Mm-hmm. 
I still can't save. No, you can't. Maybe recast your invisibility before you go down, because you've had it for a while now. You're just gonna invis your way through the rest of the game. Right? No more fighting for Naomi. Listen, what's a half? But at least for him, like I, you, we both know I prefer swords and whatnot. Could I save up there? Wait, make sure that you save the nurse in the old tower. Oh, we haven't gone to the old tower yet. Okay. Yeah, that was the bell tower. <laughs> She's like, I can't wait until that protagonist runs by me. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Not today, you're not. He's just looking at you, but he isn't like, it's yep. funny. Have any of these characters been in Smash? Um. Alexandra Royvis has a has a, a sticker in Smash. Oh yeah, if the enemies are it. out in the open. That means that that fucking nurse is definitely possessed. A very old piece of paper sits in the pipe organ. Do you hope you remember the? Uh... I do not. You do it. It can be used if powers are stored. Oh, right, that's down. Downstairs. Yeah. Eh? Oh, no, it's down. No, I know. Okay. A rifle lies in the altar. Looks like the soldier died. One of the cathedral's guards lies dead by his post. His death was sudden and violent. His broken limbs twisted at odd angles, with a trickle of blood issuing from his mouth and ears. R.I.P. Yeah, I think your soldier is like the main... Sorry, your, your rifle? Don't mind the spell being cast with no one standing there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, equip that rifle, though. That's like your main weapon right now. I think that the... Uh, Pistol is just used for trappers again. That's a seven point. Oh, I don't have that yet. No. You don't have that yet, so you can't do it yet. That's a rat. I was like, what is that? There's door. two doors now. Yep, they probably built something else up. What's in here? Revolver ammo. Can't see it because the uh, it's too dark. I bet that's it. I don't have a torch or anything, so I actually I wonder. You're just enchanting the weapon? Well, yeah, it casts light. I know, but like, I think it's just like a... <laughs> you can try it, but I think that's just like a quirk. Just... You moved... What? No! Yes, you died. I saw you. <laughs> Naomi's slippery thumbs. <laughs> oh. Like, you can see it, yeah, but it's not going to give you the option. <laughs> I thought it might. A journal. Like the Marie Celeste, the desk hasn't been touched in some time, as though its user suddenly turned away and never returned. A half-written letter bespeaks silent, unfinished activity. Hey, Soupy, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Naomi's currently being spooked. Spooked. Rifle ammo. You should do a zero sanity playthrough at some point. That's where the high points of this game shine through. I do agree. A desk kept meticulously clean. Peter is surprised that it is not more chaotic for a frontline hospital. After all, isn't this where the death certificates are written? Uh, 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 nope. Oh, congrats, dude. 
Yeah, this is a Nintendo game. I mean, Nintendo funded it, but it's made by... Not uh, Silicon Knights. I think Naomi's just gonna avoid combat now for the rest of the game. It, it whenever possible. Unless the game makes you fight someone to open a thing. The workings of the pipe organ has remained mostly the same since the installation. Originally, the bellows were driven manually. Now they are steam-powered, and the organ controlled ele electrically. It might be one of the oldest restored pipe organs in the world. There's like, like ammo, ammo. You have to somehow restore electricity to it. Yep. There will be a fuse room, I think. This is the wine cellar, right? Trappers. And they can see you. This is a different room. Oh, this is your steam room. An old, rusty, but faithful, for many years, a coal-burning boiler provides heat and steam to the electric computer complex. There is currently no pressure being diverted to the generator. Should be to turn the wheel. Okay, something's going on now. That's a hole. That's a door. I wasn't there before. Mm-hmm. The door is unlocked, but it won't open. It's like a large object on the other side, blocking movement. There's a hole through the wall there. Don't leave yet. What? Summon Trapper. Go through the hole. Oh. Yes, smart. Big brain dev! Uh, summon zombie. Summon Trapper. There you go. Now the map's drawn. I swear to God! You should uh, do your magic rune. Because you're running out of magic pretty fast. Uh, spell 11. Pardon, pardon, pardon. Yep, give it a minute. Let it regen up. I wonder if Dave's back yet. Like, is he still on the road? I mean, you, you can just open up Messenger and see. Yeah, I'll do it on the break. Just, I I remember being on buses and, like, hating. I, like, I fucking hated Greyhounds. I took a lot of Greyhounds in my time. Fuck. All right. Hey there, buddy. Uh, just walk him in. Yep, 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 yep. There's a body. Okay. Body of a soldier, a patient from the hospital, lies slumped against the door, trying to hide from the horror. He had barricaded himself inside the room before someone to his wounds. Okay. Um, you can, like, target him using regular targeting, and then trap her and dimension him away. Goodbye. There you go. The game doesn't, like, really explain it. Yeah, but, like, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do. This room got darker. It did. There's the six, the seven point. Hooray! You can now do seven point spells. Now you can do seven point instead of five, five point for all your stuff. My invisibility will last even longer. Yes. Okay. Uh, equip handgun or your revolver because you have trappers in the room outside. YouTube's algorithm what, randomly one day brought me a video of this guy who told to Japan's akin to LinkedIn to see what Game Freak employees are saying about working together. Apparently they're poorly reviewed for a game design company. The creative people said that the company was happy to listen to any suggestion, but technical devs all complain about using tech that was used to behind off the company and knows any garbage they make will sell. Sounds about right. That makes sense, Monsuko. They can see you. Aim and shoot. There's another room on the other side of that, too. Cask full of maturing cold wine. All right, hold on. Uh, Soupy, I'm being mostly lazy. There is there is a buildup, but I'm also being lazy. A soldier's body lies on the floor, far from the front line, this poor man met his end. 
His fate is far removed from his brothers in arms, the victim of the cathedral rather than by bullet or bayonet. Which one was the spigot again? Like which one? I don't remember either. Maybe that's maybe that's gone now. Maybe you can't do it that way anymore. Well, he is not knocking, so. Yeah. It's none of them. Yeah. Wait, that room there. And here is the fuse room. Examine. Perched on the wall beside the generator is an open face fuse box. A fuse appears to be missing. There is no sign where it could be. Oh, no. No, no. wait. No, you can. You don't. What? You know what to do? I don't have the fuse. Do you know what people used to do with old fuses? No. If you're missing a fuse, you put a penny in the... Oh. In, it's a, like fuses and pennies were the same size, and, and they're both made out of metal. I... The only issue is that it's very dangerous, because you're going to shock yourself when you put it in. In order for inventiveness, Peter jams the lucky penny in a place of fuse. Amazing it works. He's been replaced. Yep. Dangerous fix. Connects the circuit. Now there's a way to go turn the power back on. Change the fire stream. Pull the lever. Power is back. Hooray. Holy shit, Deb, you're trying to shock yourself or set the wiring in your house on fire? Or in your walls? Yeah, dude. Like, yes, do not do this in real life. Like, people did back in the 1910s and 20s, but do not. Everything's working. Now you can go back upstairs and use the orb. The orb. I thought that was the way to go. Nope. Nope. You just, you're going all the way back to the steam room. Where? Okay. Go that way. And now run towards the camera. Ooh. Actually, you know what? You gotta take a break anyway. So how about you like redo all your seven points on the break? Okay. Okay. So give it a save, Naomi. And Naomi will make turn all of her spells into seven point variants. You have to do. Do you want help? I did the wrong room. You did the wrong room. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back in. Probably more like 10 minutes this time, but we'll be back with uh, more Eternal Darkness. BRB. Bye. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.